Hi, I'm John Peoples, and we're sitting on the Mackay berth here in uh, Long Beach, California at the Shoreline Marina. find a sweet spot for that boat. And we had the flow sands installed and immediately found that I could run at a, a lesser RPM and get almost the same uh, knots per hour without burning the same amount of fuel. And it came out to about a 20% difference uh, on actual fuel burn. Uh, so we were saving some money uh, but still running and gunning and chasing the fish. And then we went to the uh, the main ship. It was that was one of the first things we went for was before we took delivery. Let's get some flow scans installed because we wanted to also find the uh, sweet spot for the um, for the main ship. And we were told that it had two sweet spots: one at trawler speeds and one at a cruising speed, which was higher up into the teens. And we actually did uh, find two sweet spots using the flow scans. And at about 12 knots, we uh, actually we were burning more fuel. At 10 knots, we are at 12 knots. It seems to settle down, and we actually burn less fuel per hour <laughs> at 12 knots than we do at 10. <music> Gasoline or diesel, um, if you want to maximize your dollar spent on fuel, install a set of flow scans. So when we bought this boat, the first thing we did was pick up the phone call flow scan because uh, we wanted to have her uh, at least, uh, you know, fixed up the way we wanted it before we took delivery as much as we could. And before uh, all the electronics and everything else, it was get the flow scans. And uh, Joe has been fantastic. He's uh, he's like your, your own personal guide throughout the process. Uh, between him and say Petros Marine down in Newport, who does the install, uh, you, you feel safe. It's not like you have to sit on your boat and watch them do the work. And I get the call from Joe. He says, "Okay, Petros will be there at X time." I say, "Okay, fine." And I call me when it's done. And that's the end of my worries right there. <laughs> We're down in the engine room with the Mackay right now, sitting between the, the two Yanmars. And over here on the starboard side, uh, you can see that the in install for the flow scans uh, doesn't take up a lot of space. And basically what we have here is the way that the, the flow scans work, they meter the fuel going into the engine, and when that's being diesel, they also measure the fuel that's not being burned and return to the tank. And then they subtract, or they do a formula, I shouldn't say subtract, they do a calculation that gives you the total fuel burn, which is the fuel that the engine burn less what has gone back to the tank. And the same thing on the install on the port side, where you have your, your two sets of uh, filters, one that reads the inbound fuel and one that reads the return fuel going back to the tank. And a very good installation. <laughs> it's fun to watch Petrus do this with a monster wrench like, unlike I've ever seen. Uh, but the install, it doesn't take up any space at all. Very clean, very efficient, and I love it. I, I still believe that every boat owner should have flow scans. We have gas, whether you have diesel, whether you have twins, whether you have singles. Because uh, knowing what your fuel consumption is can actually save your life. I think that's the biggest part of it. You're not going to get stuck out there saying, oh my god, i got to call somebody, I ran out of fuel. Because as you burn fuel and you know how much you started out with, this is going to give you an accurate count of what you have left. Your totalizers will give that to you. So to me, it's, it's a safety issue. Uh, of course, there is a comfort too in the financial side. I know that I'm saving money uh, because my flow scans are letting me run at a sweet spot where I'm not burning excess fuel to get just a few more half knots. And uh, I know that the boat is running comfortably also, because when she settles down on that sweet spot, everything just seems to click. 
I look at my flow scans, I can see, okay, I'm burning X gallons per hour. I know what my speed should be, I know what my RPM should be, and I turn to the admiral and say, isn't this a smooth ride? So, I'm a happy camper.